Hello, thunderstorms, torrential rain, snow and now a hurricane. It's all going on across North America and we're keeping a very close eye on Hurricane Michael, strengthening as it works its way northwards through the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. It's heading for Florida, also the coastline of Alabama and Georgia and eventually bringing heavy rain to the Carolinas, a part of America which really doesn't need any more rain after Florence. Here's Michael on the earlier satellite picture, this swirl of cloud here already bringing some heavy rain and strong winds to the Yucatan Peninsula and western Cuba, working its way northwards and as it moves through those warm waters it will intensify to become a major hurricane ahead of making landfall sometime on Wednesday, bringing not just damaging winds but torrential rain and a dangerous storm surge as well. Meanwhile, further north, we have this very sharp temperature contrast across Canada, stretching down into northwestern states. Cold air here ahead of this, further south and east, warm and humid. And where those two air masses collide, you get this really active front stretching from the Great Lakes down through the plains across into Texas. We've seen some torrential rain on this slow moving front in excess of 100 millimetres in just 24 hours. And to the northern edge of this front, we're in some cold air. So that means snow for the likes of Wyoming and Dakota. Also further snow across the Rockies and the Great Basin. That snow eventually extending up in towards Manitoba and Saskatchewan later in the week. Across to the Middle East, where it's normally quite quiet, not so this week, we have this large swirl of cloud. It's tropical cyc cyclone Lubin. And it's already bringing some very rough seas, strong winds, heavy rain through the Arabian Sea. And it's working its way towards Amman and Yemen. Now the system will begin to weaken as it approaches land, but it's still likely to bring some very heavy rain and strong winds here later in the week. Across to Australia, where of course we've seen some severe drought across New South Wales over the past few months. In the last week or so, we've seen some very heavy rain and there's more to come actually through Wednesday. Some of that rain extending up into Queensland as well, connected to a front which will be sweeping its way northwards across New Zealand through Wednesday and Thursday. So bringing something more unsettled outbreaks of rain, some snow, particularly over the South Island. And then it turns drier across New Zealand towards the end of the week. But a fairly unsettled feel in Sydney through much of this week. Partly sunny, partly cloudy, still some showers. Across to Europe, where we've got this warmth extending across much of the continent. So a rise in temperature over the coming days. But also still some unsettled weather, particularly for the far north of Scotland and also across southwest France down into the Balearics and parts of southeastern Spain. Some heavy showers, longer spells of rain here. But ahead of this, temperatures well above average for what is approaching the middle of October. And we'll hold on to that warmth for a few more days yet. More on the warmth in the UK coming up with Nick Miller in Weather for the Week Ahead. So here's our city forecast for Europe over the next five days. That's all from me. Bye-bye.